Good morning. You are connected to New Horizons program which is broadcasted every Monday 9 to 10 a.m. on CFRU 93.3 FM. I am your co-host Arun Trikha and my other host Doug Blackwood does the other part of the work and uh, this is a program which is seniors directed and mostly we bring interviews here for seniors which are very beneficial and useful useful uh, for the seniors i have i have interviewed politicians i have interviewed um, like financial advisors i have interviewed many different different aspects so my interest is mainly concerned about the people uh, who are seniors and uh, how we can help or how this program new horizons uh, which is uh, a university of guelph program how this program can benefit our seniors today i am very privileged to have two very senior people experienced people in their field uh, who are um, uh, here to tell us their stories their experience about uh, what they think about the seniors have they ever heard of the new horizons program or do they know anything about cfr 93.3 fm and so before going further i would like to welcome uh, daniel keho am i right that's correct and uh, franci uh, who are retired steel workers right right i'm i'm steel worker and they will introduce themselves i don't want to stand in between the uh, listeners and the speakers so they will introduce themselves i must welcome daniel and uh, uh, francine franci uh, just tell me something about you uh, daniel first and then franci okay. uh sure um i'm the president of the steel workers organization of active retirees uh it's better known as soar um We are a bunch of retirees uh, that were formerly steel workers and have retired from all of our different jobs, different facets. I myself personally come from a factory background. Uh, you'll learn uh, from my vice president, Francie. Uh, she actually comes from the university, and I'll let her talk about that. Um, so I come from a factory background. Um, I've been retired since 2008. Um, so I've kind of been on the retiree side for enough years to get my feet wet. as compared to some of the other uh, seniors out there. My name is Francie Neekamp and I'm the vice president of SOAR. Um it was very important to get a SOAR chapter going here in Guelph because I wasn't sure what I as a retiree w- would do with my time. So um Uh, now that we have a chapter and Dan's the president things are looking up um what our organization does and anybody <coughs> who is uh, retired can join you don't have to be a steel worker um and what we do we try to um have committees formed that will um that will be good for the people. So if some people want to get a better environment, we'll form an environment committee. If somebody wa- is really concerned about uh maintaining good health, we'll form a health committee or a social committee. So it's really geared to uh longevity. So anybody can join uh so anybody. So right? anybody who is retired. So retirement is the Uh, only Correct. criteria. Correct. And Dan was uh, was instrumental in getting that put in to our chapter that anybody could join. Okay. So this committee uh, or this organization is Guelph based or Ontario based or how do you say about that? Actually the the SOAR is actually an international organization, the United oh. Steelworkers of America, which was a, the original union and we've changed our names a few times. Um but the steel workers it's an international organization we have chapters throughout the uh United States Canada uh we haven't got some offshore yet and that's only because steel has just gotten its foot into the European market mm-hmm. as far as that goes uh some of the people have gone down to Central America tried to form 
organizations. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. And so the, the work is still ongoing. Um, but the steel workers uh, rel- just recently, I believe it's two years ago, changed the criteria so that it didn't matter whether you were a union person, didn't matter whether you were a steel worker. Mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. retirees and as seniors, we all have the same issues. We're all oh, battling, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, we're all battling the same things. And we just said, wait a minute, we don't want to be an exclusive club. We mm-hmm. want to be inclusive, uh, which means we don't care. As long as you have the same goals and ideas that we do, we want you to help us out. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a very good um, uh, objective of your organization and the efforts which you are putting for the organization. Uh, as you said, um, the issues, whether we are a steel worker or whether we are uh, any other, belong QP? to any other, uh, yeah, QP, seniors' issues are the same everywhere. Right. Health issues. Right. The seniors are, uh, they need health uh, coverage. They need need so many things they need. So why don't we get together as you have endeavored to bring this uh, thing together mm-hmm. and uh, I congratulate you and I appreciate that this is a very good I, honestly speaking I never knew of this thing that there is any organization mm-hmm. going on until I I contacted you when I got your email only then I came to know that there is some organization like this and uh, uh, then I did my homework a little bit out of curiosity because I am also a senior. <laughs> so <Aww. laughs> I don't, do, don't you think that I No, am? <laughs> you could have fooled us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm senior. I am under the definition of seniors. I am a senior. So we'll see you at our next meeting. <laughs> sure, sure. I can be, uh, unless you ask me for any money or anything. <laughs> no. And after you, in speaking about that, uh, you're absolutely right. I agree with Francie. I would not have given you retirement age. No. But see, that's some of the issues that are uh, happening out there for seniors. Define what is what is a senior age? Senior age, uh, according to uh, when we go by definition, when I go to Shopper Drug Mart, they ask me. <laughs> that's where I'm going. <laughs> ask me, are you senior? They, de- they never ask me mm. for my ID or anything. Uh-huh. They say, okay, you are senior, 20% off. Uh, on Thursday, I think 20% off on some of the things. But when you go by definition, I think it is 55 plus in somewhere. And some people, uh, uh, I was reading the literature to be to be clarify myself to clarify myself. In some of the cases, 50 plus is also a senior. Yeah. Now the government have um, one thing more, which is latest nowadays. You may be knowing uh, it may not be new for you. Uh, government have changed the definition of seniors in Canada. They don't call it as seniors anymore. What? They call it as older adults. Really? We are adults, okay. but belong to a different category of adults, which are older adults. So if I, if, if I like long back, uh, when, when my, my father was a senior, uh, we were using the word like, he's an old man. Like it's, it's, it looks like a discriminatory yeah, or yeah, the yeah. word like this. Same thing, but I think because I do a lot of research and uh, write so many research papers and my I have yeah. also a university background, um, professor of chemistry. So I was doing the same thing. I, I have done a lot of research. So when you call by, by raising a finger, oh, you are senior or you are an old person. That gives you a, a different type of feeling in your in your brain or the mind. Yeah, older is slightly better. You're an older person, and then adult. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird <laughs> because because I I I I apply that definition to myself. Okay. I I when I am at home or whenever I work, I worked in factories also. Mm-hmm. I worked in Lenamar, so my my slogan when I entered the Lenamar uh, door. And I was telling them I can work like a like a young boy of 18 years, and I was working like them mm-hmm. on the night shift. I worked in McNeil Consumer Healthcare in mm-hmm. uh, here, and I told them I was on the night shift. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm not supposed to tell anything uh, because you are the people who are to be interviewed. But this is a discussion going on. Sure. So I was telling them that my my night shift starts at 10 o'clock, goes till seven in the morning. Mm-hmm. I go home. Uh, 7 to 11, I used to sleep only for four hours. Mm. And then I was again in the company. 
to have some meetings, to do some meetings, to do some other things. So virtually I was sleeping almost four hours, whereas a, a young boy of 18 years, he sleeps more than eight, nine, ten hours, and whenever he likes, he sleeps whenever he... <laughs> So yeah, so day is wasted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, uh, I am putting that I am applying that definition to myself. Okay. And that gives me a feeling when you say uh, older or senior. So that gives me a feeling that I am an adult now. Oh. <laughs> I'm working like an adult. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah. And as far as being a senior goes, I'm not sure there's actually a legal definition because I agree I can go to Shoppers Drug Mart and get discounts too. But there's other areas that I go to, other stores that I go to, that you need to be 60. You need to be 65. <laughs> it would I be think, nice. Uh, I think they look at my my face and they say, oh, you are senior. I don't know why you are saying that I don't look like a senior. They have never asked me for any ID or anything, any, any proof. Yeah. It would just be nice, especially for seniors who are on a fixed income, even with uh, retirement pensions that are indexed to inflation. It's still a limited income, and I think if there was more consistency out there, mm -hmm. as far as if I'm going to get a 10% discount because I'm a senior at Shoppers Drug Mart, why can't I get that at Leon's or the Brick yeah, or yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much any of the other retail stores that are out, even grocery stores? Yeah. You, 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 know, you talk about wanting a discount, I would love it if someone would take 10% off my groceries because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't buy much hair color. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they're going to... They're gonna, respect the elders, respect the seniors, and say thank you for doing what you've done for all those years, and then apply a discount to it. You need to apply a discount that's relevant mm -hmm. to our yeah. needs. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have to get on the bandwagon with that. Why not? Why, I why think can't the all most those important big issue, stores? Most important issue at this time, which is affecting our seniors, is the health issue. Yeah. Health issue, they go, some people, they don't have uh, the money to buy buy their uh, uh, medicine they have they have no plans they have no insurance plans oh hip doesn't cover everything right so as you say uh, daniel the discount should be on these types of things life saving drugs that's right diabetes yeah no i, I don't frequent a lot of drug stores but i do know i'm pretty sure shoppers drug mart has uh, reduced some of their rates for seniors uh, i guess they call it a copay some yeah, I know. Cases. I know that is copay, uh, and I commend them for that program. But yeah. I don't think that's far enough. I think uh, everybody out there has to look at, and especially if you look at the figures. And I believe the last couple of years they've talked about uh, the so-called generation baby boomers. We're going to be outnumber mm -hmm. yeah. people that are paying into pensions and people that are in in theory supporting us now at this stage of our life. Yeah, uh, wouldn't it be more beneficial to give us something now while we can use it? And make uh, don't don't you think your organization uh, uh, is thinking about our brain brainstorming some of the things well we do and if I may and this is uh, we haven't done this locally yet uh, but I do know there's a sore chapter in Kitchener who has gone around to most of the businesses in Kitchener okay and said uh, we have an organization of retirees on fixed incomes mm -hmm. if if we were to say to our members uh, everybody Let's go to Shoppers Drug Mart. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll just use Shoppers as an example. Give us an extra 10% discount any mm. time of the day. Okay. Uh, if I go buy a new set of tires, if I go to Canadian Tire to buy my tires, mm -hmm. Canadian Tire will agree as long as I'm a retiree member of SOAR, mm -hmm. I will get an additional discount on top of everything else. We haven't done that yet in the city of Guelph, uh, and it's basically more along the lines of logistics. Your office is um, SOAR office is in Kitchener? Uh, no. Our local SOAR office is shared with the United Steelworkers Local 4120 out of the university. Oh, in, in the university? Yes. Yeah, so we in the share university. their office. Yeah. Oh, okay. You share Just them. over on college. Oh, okay. Okay. And yeah. how many how many uh, members you have right now? In this? this year we have around 35 to 40 members, and it's a floating membership because uh, it gets renewed every year. Uh, the university, as they retire from the Steelworker Local, uh, is automatically enrolled into our uh, organization what do you mean by automatically enrolled? When you retire, okay. uh, the local will give you our, they will pay your oh, first year's okay. membership dues, which if you look at it is only $12 a year mm -hmm, and it's $3 mm -hmm. for a spouse. So for $15 a year, you've just signed up to an organization uh, 
for an entire year, which should hopefully help you transition from being 30 years on a job to all of a sudden, I don't have to get up at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. I don't have to get up at 7 o'clock. That's a huge transition for seniors and retirees. Mm-hmm. The life that you once knew. And if you look at the numbers, uh, if you worked in a factory, even though you made only from 10 a.m. till when? 7? Or 10 p.m. till 10, 7? Yeah, 10, 7. That's nine, a 10 hour eight, shift? 9 hour shift. An, nine hour to get, an hour to get there? Get ready and get there? Yeah. yeah. An hour after? Yeah. That's a 12 hour 12 day. 12 hour day, day. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so all of those kind of things we like to look at. Mm-hmm. So, so you are working on that. Well, we look at the transition. Uh, what do I do when I retire? Mm-hmm. Well, like Francie mentioned earlier, if I'm an environmentalist, mm-hmm. why can't I go somewhere and get involved with something? Mm-hmm. Well, you can. Our organization will offer you that. You know, we'll, we in fact we formed an organ, uh, an environmental committee. Uh, now we're looking at social committees. We're looking. Pretty much whatever we can so do. So you have uh, subcommittees in mm-hmm. the organization itself. And, and I'm thinking of starting a health committee. Mm-hmm. What yeah. was uh, your role, of which department you were in the university? I was in the technical area. I was a research technician in microbiology. Oh, my goodness. That is science. And I, I love science. chemistry. <laughs> I love science. <laughs> oh, uh, for, I, I, I can't believe that I, I'm meeting the first person in my life who says I love chemistry. First person. Everybody. I didn't do that well in biochemistry. Organic <laughs> chemistry, I really liked. I, I tell uh, all of my students, even I am teaching online and so many things nowadays also, but I have never seen Ingle, even a single student who says, I love chemistry. Oh, you say, oh, chemistry is so boring. It's so tough. Long equations, this and that. It makes so much sense. <laughs> it makes sense, but but nobody wants to make sense. No. <laughs> People want to cram and do all those things. Yeah. There's a lot of things out there that don't make sense <laughs> when it comes to things like that, issues like that. That's true. Okay. So um, you have something um, to say? Um, yeah, I just... Oh, okay, okay. So you meet every uh, last Sat- uh, Thursday of every month. Correct. And from September to June in uh, USW office on College Street. That, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Our kickoff for this new season will be a free breakfast. Free, free, free. Wherever <laughs> wherever there is free, yeah. it's, it's eye-catching. Free breakfast at... Towns country at town and country town and town and country yeah. at nine a.m. Yeah, and that's a, on the corner of Speedvale and Aramosa. Okay, okay, I live nearby that yeah. area. Well, drop in for yeah, breakfast. Yeah, do more than happy okay, to, okay. To pick up the That'll time. be our first. Okay, meeting. so uh, I may tell my listeners that we are interviewing uh, two great personalities of SOAR who are retirees, and they are telling us about. Um, they are organizations, sure, steel workers, uh, retirees. Organization of active retirees. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, all those people who are listening to New Horizons program, and, and I know people are, we are getting more and more people, and more and more people are involved, getting involved in this, and uh, this program is going to very high heights. Now, uh, my, my specific question about the program. Have you ever heard of this uh, radio station CFR 93.3 FM? At least I have never heard that. I have, but I have to admit I didn't listen to it that much. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> any reason why you didn't? Because you have so many other programs. Uh, yeah, and when I when I wanted to listen to something, it, they weren't on the topics that I think. I, I think wanted. the reason is. There are so many good topics. We have Mm -hmm. large number of programs here, so many programs here uh, in hundreds. But the 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 issue is with the marketing. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like a commercial radio station. You will agree with me. Mm -hmm. This radio station is not a commercial radio station. We don't have any advertisements here. We don't have any uh, our programs are for educational purposes. Can you tell me when does the New Horizons program come on? Is it every Monday? Every Monday, 9 to 10 a.m. We start. And uh, we have a format. uh, You can go online uh, on the CFRU website, and you can see the format. Uh, My Mm -hmm. co-host, Doug Blackwood, 
he starts the program he reads about uh, he tells the audience about what is the program about and what is going to tell in the next one hour mm-hmm. so i then he we have a music a short music then i give the local news uh, and a little bit of analysis as as i already told you mm. the most important news uh, in the coming weeks and uh, i think next month is the elections municipal municipal elections and which mayor we want so we would like to uh, keep uh, listening to this program we will, we have already lined up with the candidates we will bring the candidates here and get a commitment from them what you are going to do for the city we we That's don't good. want we don't want uh, uh, the roads Uh, unsafe roads in Guelph city or mm-hmm. the city budget going up or the scandals which are going at all the levels of the government so we will bring the people let's say anybody we we are not concerned about the face which face will come and sit in the mayor's office mm-hmm. we want a competent person so keep listening to this and then uh, we have other um, areas of people also Uh, specialists mm-hmm. like doctors like pharmacists like physiotherapists we interview them so that will give you a little bit of uh, a feel back feedback feel back feel mm-hmm. feedback so what is feel all this about what this program is there is music there is news there is uh, interviews like this very informative interviews we bring experts here and then um Uh, it will continue it will continue now we have only started one hour program with all your grace and uh, with the cooperation it can go to and we have some events going on uh, mm-hmm. we we have put it all those events in our programs we will continue telling you would you like our uh, chapter at our meeting would you like us to poll our uh, retirees yeah, and yeah. find out what they'd like to hear oh, on yes, your program oh yes 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 you can bring uh, more people here get get involved the, uh, that that is that was your question or? yeah uh, uh, no just what will entice them to listen to the program like cf like, uh, to yeah, this yeah cfr your new horizons program yeah, uh, yeah. See, uh, like uh, you did uh, say politics you do talk politics yeah health uh, issues financial issues then real estate that's issues that's good. real estate every i i am i am okay. taking every specialist from uh, uh, any area okay any area i am not bringing anybody here uh, we we are doing uh, our deli- uh, due diligence mm-hmm. and bringing the people who are really who really know about the subject should should we do that to ask our words? absolutely and, and just li- listening from what i'm hearing here you guys pretty much have the same objective that our group does mm-hmm. and that's to get information relative information i mean it has to mean something to the individual uh if you bring me a story about parking rates mm-hmm. on the university i'm not going to listen you need to know what issues are out there and what issues are going to affect the seniors that are yeah, out there yeah. and i find this is a great venue uh to get that message out because a lot of people and i could be very wrong here most people retire from their jobs and not from who they are or what they do. You know, so if you were passionate your entire life about a certain thing, you can continue to do that, but if you have no information available on where to go, who to see, mm-hmm, yeah, and yeah. when, uh, a lot of people will just Stein. stand back and just yeah, kind of say, well, counting I, their days. I guess that's it. Counting their days as the yeah. old age is coming. Exactly. Uh, as you say, going back uh, to that senior comment, senior, you know, yeah, I'm a senior comment. so that means I should sit down in my chair and I should I mean, <laughs> that's been blown out of the water for so many mm-hmm. years. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So, um, very good uh, comment you have raised, uh, Daniel. And uh, I would like to, uh, I'm, I, I think there is only one minute left. But there is nothing like uh, any uh, time frame, like we have to go up to 25 minutes. Already we have done more than 24 minutes. So, you, ha- um, you will try to listen to CFRU. New Horizons program yes. uh, as committee today. <laughs> yes, I will definitely have a online and, radio and uh, bring yeah. more. And you can you can listen to. You don't need a radio. You can listen it online on your phone. See? On your uh, now, oh, okay. Can I get to something here? You just brought up the most, probably one of the best points as far as seniors goes. And actually, Francie and I were talking about it on the couch while we were waiting. How do you 
how do you contact seniors? Because most seniors nowadays, mm -hmm. and this is not a shot at you people if you're listening out there, <laughs> I have a phone with numbers on it still. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Even I have that. Do, do you know where I'm getting at? So all of these, and this, this includes everything, even our city. And now if you talk about the New Horizons program, I virtually knew nothing about this program until I was asked to do this interview. Yeah, yeah, I know. Our, my problem is, why didn't I get that information, and where should it have come from? Oh, yes. And yes. it's the same thing with the programming that's on here. Mm -hmm. We need to better communicate to the seniors out there. And mm -hmm. if there is a message to get out to those people, it's like you've only retired from your job, not from yeah. what you do and who you are. Uh -huh. And this community and every community needs the seniors that are out there. I don't know how to reach them. How how do we reach them all? Uh, the CF Harju or uh, the no, seniors? No, the seniors. The there seniors. are so many senior Everybody. groups. That is why this yeah. program is. We are, we are distributing all the information, whatever, uh, anything which is groups. happening in Guelph. Yeah. yeah. We have immigrant services. There is a senior group. We have Evergreen Senior Center. Where is a group? Yeah, it's there. only through groups. That through you, groups, yeah. you have to. So that is why CF Harju and New Horizons program is for this thing. Okay. We are we are going everywhere. Wherever we get the information, we will distribute, we will broadcast that information on your uh, on the program. Mm -hmm. And that is why we say whenever you will listen to New Horizons program, there will always be new information, mm -hmm. I guarantee you. Which which you have not, as you are talking to me today, yeah. you, you learned about New Horizons, uh, new, uh, so many new things, so many new organizations. Uh, see, uh, like, like as you say, when I talked about uh, the cell phone or the iPhone and all those things, I know a senior who is 85 years old mm -hmm. and I was teaching computer to him. Oh, In immigrant services, oh, nice. I was teaching computer to him and he didn't have glasses. His hands were not shaking and he was the most, I should say, the most obedient student for me. Yeah. He used to come at one o'clock and leave at three o'clock and he was so involved in that as far as the technology yeah. is concerned. So we seniors are we I should say the old people, we are getting involved into the into the technology. As we may not be very comfortable with the iPhones and the iPads yeah. and iPods. It may be slower for us. It may be slower eventually. for us, but <laughs> we are we are trying to do that. We don't say like as far as my my perception is concerned, I want to be a scientist. So I don't want to say, oh, no, 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 this is not my, my, uh, my I want to go old with the, that typewriter, you know mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so it was very, very interesting uh, discussion. Um, and uh, time, you know, it, it almost flew away. It yeah. was so interesting. I agree. Yeah. You provided such a, such a, uh, good information about your organization and we discussed a lot about mm -hmm. our uh, organization uh, CFRU New Horizons program and uh, in the end uh, both of you would like to say anything before we before I say goodbye and <laughs> come again I think if I think if there was anything I can say about the New Horizons program is that it's now opened our eyes mm -hmm. um, it's I, an eye opener for you exactly because mm -hmm. now there's a venue out there there's a there's a channel Mm -hmm. that seniors can use mm -hmm. to get either information altogether, gather the information. Mm -hmm. um, and based on this interview, we now have, I believe, a new project for our organization okay. uh, that okay. we're going to spearhead. And it's based on the New Horizons program. We've, uh, Francie went on the internet and uh, got some stuff from there uh, that says we may have something that the government will give us some grants for, Okay. okay. Uh, which will be beneficial to everybody in the community. We're hoping... Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping, and uh, we're going to try. We're seniors. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to be out there. Uh, yeah. Contact us. Get a hold of us, you know. And everybody is always welcome to our SOAR yeah. meetings. Okay. Monthly Thank SOAR meetings. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Daniel and uh, Francie, for you're, your you're nice welcome. and excellent interview and coming to...